Hey everyone, AMD just released the new 890M iGPU or APU and today I'll be comparing it with its predecessor the Radeon 780M. For that I'll be using a brand new Asus VivoBook S14 with a Ryzen AI 9HX370 which I'll also review soon. And believe me, this thin and light laptop is a beast and it's amazing, so don't miss that review. For the 780M I'll be using the brand new LIX at 20W and 30W and an Asus TUF A15 gaming laptop with a Ryzen 7 7940HS I tested a while ago. And no, Asus didn't send any review samples and didn't pay for this video. I want to point out that I was using the Universal X87 tuning utility to set the laptop to 20W and 30W but I'm not 100% sure that the iGPU then runs at its designed speed since the performance always magically improved one minute after I actually set the wattage. That didn't happen when I was using the predefined performance modes of the laptop, but they run at 17, 35 and 45 watts, so I wasn't able to compare it with the LIX that way. But I also added the 45 watt results as well to give you a better idea of what it can do. Is Hubwood. And before we take a look at the gaming benchmarks, let's just quickly look at the Thentetic 3D Mark results first. Starting with Firestrike, where the LIX with its Ryzen Z1 Extreme scored 6928 points, the 890M outperformed it by 31% with 9084 points. Of course, we'll have to factor in the CPU as well, but that won't have a huge effect. In Time Spy, the LIX scores 3260, whereas the Ryzen AI9 with the 890M achieves 4098, a difference of 26%. And in the new Steel Nomad Lite benchmark, we get 2637 for the LIX and 3265 for the 890M, a difference of 24%. Now let's have a look at the 20W performance, which will give us an idea of what to expect from future gaming handhelds using that chip. For both devices I was using 8GB as pre-allocated VRAM and they both have the same 24GB of 7500 mega transfers DDR5 RAM. In Cyberpunk 2077 at 1080p with medium settings and FSR set to quality, the 890M is able to outperform the 780M by 21% with 40 over 33 FPS, while it's running at a much lower clock speed. And as a side note, it's actually also performing pretty well at 16W, just for the record. Also keep in mind that the drivers are probably not yet fully optimized for the 890M as it's brand new. In Forza Horizon 5 at high settings and 1080p, the difference was even bigger with now 59 over 43 FPS which is a pretty big difference of 37%. That is pretty nice and lets us hope for the future. This is really getting close to a 35 watt RTX 3050 for which I'll probably make a quick comparison video if I can find the time. Now for Hogwarts Legacy I saw a difference of 29% at 1080p with medium settings and FSR on balanced mode. 40 over 31 FPS to be precise, yet very stable with decent frame times and the 1% lows have been around 27 for the 890M and 23 for the 780M. In Shadow of the Tomb Raider I was using 1080p with DirectX 12 and high settings. In the integrated benchmark I now saw 42 FPS for the 890M and 33 FPS on average for the 780M, a difference of 27%. Now the difference seemed to shrink a lot on the higher wattages, but see for yourself. I now compared the RG LIX at 30W and the 890M at 30W as well, which I had to manually set with the Universal X86 tuning utility, so I'm not 100% sure it performs as intended that way. So I also added the result for its predefined performance mode, which uses 45W. In Cyberpunk, the difference was now only 12% for the 30W and 33% for the 45W mode in comparison. Probably drivers, probably the laptop and also probably just the chip itself. Keep in mind that the 890M uses 12 CUs as in compute units, but there will also be a huge APU soon, which will use up to 40 CUs and that could really change everything. 
In Forza Horizon 5, I now only saw a difference of 7% for the 30 watt mode with 58 over 62 FPS and 75 FPS for the 45 watt mode when the 890M laptop was set to performance mode, which was a difference of 29%. I also quickly want to mention that when using the 35 watt mode for the laptop with its predefined balanced mode, it already scored 72 FPS, which is kind of supporting my theory. But that's what I have to work with right now, and I can't set the LIX to 35 watt for a fair comparison. But 5 watt more for 16% more performance? I'd take that anytime. In Hogwarts Legacy, the difference was now only marginal when using 30W on both devices and 25% more FPS for the 45W mode on the 890M. Once more, at 35W the 890M already scored 49 FPS on average, which is almost the same as with the 45W mode. So something is a bit fishy about the efficiency, so take these results with a grain of salt. I think something between 10 to 25% in most cases would make sense. And for Shadow of the Tomb Raider, the difference was again a bit bigger with 15%. 47 over 41 FPS for the 30W modes and 50 FPS for the 45W mode, whereas with 35W it already scored 50 FPS as well. So maybe 35W is a sweet spot and ASUS did use that for the balance mode for a reason. And now let's have a quick look at some older recordings I made for some different games with an ASUS TUF A15 a while ago. And this laptop was running the APU at 65W and therefore could be a bit faster overall in comparison. But I just wanted to edit nonetheless, showing that the Ryzen AI9HX370 is quite an efficient CPU. For control, I was using the medium preset at 1080p with DirectX 12 and saw an improvement of 17% for the 890M despite the APU using a bit less of power. For Assassin's Creed Valhalla, at high settings, the difference was again marginal with only one FPS difference. Again, maybe drivers, maybe the chip or the laptop itself or maybe even the bandwidth limitation of the RAM since I was using the higher graphics preset. For Horizon Zero Dawn I saw a difference of 9% with 61 over 56 FPS for the 890M despite using around 12 to 13 watt less. I also want to point out that the 780M was able to boost higher due to the higher wattage here. And for an extreme example, I also tested the Witcher 3 next gen update at ultra settings without any upscaling. That resulted in 25 FPS for the 780M and 28 FPS for the 890M, a difference of 12% after all, despite the low wattage. Now the 890M is not providing a huge difference in most cases, a decent upgrade in some, while being more efficient obviously. But I guess considering the great efficiency, it really could become the next handheld APU for sure, since it's performing so good at lower wattages as well. I also want to point out that the Ryzen AI9HX370 is a beast of a mobile CPU after I did some more benchmarks on that laptop. But more on that in my review of the used ASUS VivoBook S14. A superb laptop really. It even lets you game AAA games for like 2.5 2 to 3 hours on battery with decent performance, which is insane. And that's already all for today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss my full review of the 890M while I test it in a lot more games and also the full review of the mentioned laptop. Thanks for watching, see you next time, bye bye and tschüss.